We're going to copy this angle. We're going to start off by drawing a ray anywhere we like with an endpoint there. And we're going to open our compass up to any old length we want. Draw and sheesh. Draw an arc. And then draw the same arc for your guy. Now measure how big your angle is and make sure that your angle is the same. So put your endpoint there, draw a little tick mark there, connect your dots, and you will be done. So you've created the same angle. Cool. So now for parallel lines, it's not a completely new construction. It's the same thing. Um, remember from, they might have taught you that if you have par lines that are parallel and you cut them with a transversal, you'll have created corresponding angles that are congruent. So what we need to do here is make our own transversal wherever we feel like it. And when we do that, we've created this angle here. And I just need to copy that angle up here so that I have corresponding angles that are congruent, and then I'll have parallel lines. So we do that the same way we did up there. We're going to draw an arc any length we want, uh, starting there, going there. Draw the same one for our new angle, starting there, going there. Now measure how big your angle is, open up your compass to that same size, and then make sure your angle is the same size by starting at that end point and drawing a little tick mark there. So now if you just connect those two points, and I'm pretty lousy at this, the bigger your dots are, the more imprecise you're going to be and the bigger your lead is, the more off you can be. <laughs> so if I go through those two points, I should have created parallel lines. Here it's so close, but it's not quite perfect. But that's that's the idea. The, the smaller my points are and the more precise I am with putting the things on, the better it's going to be. But that's the idea. I'll try it one more time down here. Let's say we have a uh, line, and I need to draw, draw the originals in say I have a line and I want to draw another line that's parallel to that going through that point. I'm going to draw myself a transversal anywhere I want. I just need to copy this angle here by drawing an arc any size I want. So being super careful to put the point on there and careful there. And we're going to do the same thing. Put the point there. Careful there. And then we're going to open this up so that it's that same length, so there to there, and then make sure our angle is the same. So there and there. Sheesh. I am not a draftsman. Alright. So now we're getting those two points. Wow, that is off. Sheesh. Hmm. That is like really off. I think my lead is dying. I'm going to try it again.